Okay, so next we are gonna make something that is Branston pickle inspired. For those of you that are here in America, the United States, we know pickle as like a cucumber that has been fermented or it has been cured in like a sugar, salt type of vinegar mixture. This is not that. Branston pickle is more like what we would consider a relish. And there are many different things in here everywhere. Anything from like cauliflower and there's sugar, there's pieces of apple. It's actually very delicious. So we're going to make a little meat pie that has corned beef, Branston pickle, and an aged cheddar cheese in it. So we have a half a pound of corned beef here. And by the way, just a little FYI, the corn in corned beef is not corn or peppercorns. It refers to the rock salt that they use to cure the beef because the beef is cured and that's how it comes out to be corned beef. And then um, we've got, what I say, half a pound. We're gonna use a few dollops. This is kind of as you go. And we're gonna use four ounces of the aged cheddar. So this is eight ounces, I'm cutting it in half. And we're not going to shred it. We're actually gonna cut it thinly and then make little sort of like three pieces, what are those, rectangles? Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to assemble these little pies. You can make your own phyllo dough type of crust, forget it, Pillsbury, crescent rolls, delicious, work wonders. We're gonna do this now. All right, you can smash it open. We have more than one, you could do the next one. And I'll open this. I'll smash it open, you thing While you're smashing it open, I'm going to be cutting up the cheese here. I will be it cutting like the cheese. Paper. It looks like pancake. It does look like toilet. But remember, I, all I gotta do is like yeah. do this and yeah. then. I have to back up if it something goes wrong. There's always backup. Yay! Woo! <laughs> okay, so what we have to do is we have to take two of them. Don't put it on the pan. And make it into a no, we'll put that on there when we're totally done. We'll put it. You can put it on the countertop. Wait, are we it's a cook it? cooking countertop. Are we gonna are they gonna put it on like the little shapes that we always do? Yes, so you can t take them out and you're gonna oh, match yeah. them up to make a square and you can sort of like put the seam a little bit overlapping because right now they are sort of like a triangle. They're not a right triangle, they more look more like a, I don't know what we would say, isosceles, I don't know, but it's definitely not, there's a teacher in these. These are, these are triangles. Yeah, they are. They're triangles. See them when you separate them, but if you leave them together with the seam, they become a rectangle. That's it. This is what I mean. Hold up one second. Right here. See, normally you take them from here and you roll them and that's a triangle, but they're not a right triangle. So we're going to leave them attached like this and you see how the seam is breaking a little. We're just going to pinch them a little bit with our fingers. It's very forgiving and it goes like that. Please don't eat that, Lou. If you eat that, you will get sick. So now we have these little meat pockets, okay? So there's all my cheese cut up. And then we're going to take the corned beef. And I'm gonna cut it up. We have a fabulous butcher in our town, Baglianis. It's a wonderful Italian market and they have great butcher there and they have great lunch meats. They roast their own um, roast beef and turkey and slice it into lunch meat. They make their own prosciutto. Oh my goodness, so good. So this is the corned beef and then after we've cut it up, we're shredding it. She's spitting out the dough that I said not to eat. I see everything. <laughs> Look at my Harry Styles. Can you see my Harry Styles? Can yes. you see your Harry Styles? Look at our Harry Styles. Woohoo! We love you, Harry. All right, Jaylene. So we're going to take, okay, so we only opened up one, which gave us four. We're going to open it another one. So this makes for eight little meat pockets. So it's two rolls of the Pillsbury dough, and it makes eight little rectangles. And then this is a half a pound of corned beef, and this is four ounces of the aged cheddar, and then dollops of this. So we're going to assemble them now. All right, now I'm gonna take the camera, bring it around, and let you see up close them assembling them. So I'm gonna show you, demonstrate one, okay? So you put it in the middle. 
I need some kind of candy. Put it in the middle like that. I need some kind of candy. And then you put... That looks really good. Some cheese on it. Oh, I thought that was on And butter. then we're going to put a dollop of this. Can you set back, get back? I've never had bullets. Watch My yourself, mom baby. tells me it's just chopped up pickles. All right, so here, let me show you up close what it looks like, and it's chunky. Oh, it fell in there. <laughs> All, right. All right, and so then we put a dollop like that, and you're going to make one, and I'll let them see. What is it? it has a really good flavor. What is it? You put a generous dollop, we'll tell them, and then watch out, Lou. We're going to bring them up like this. Make sure nothing is exposed and pinch them like we, that. We usually um, just roll it, it up. And turn it seam down and make it into a little pie. And then we have to cook it in the oven. Yes, but we're not oh. there yet. Very nice. What do I put in there? Mine did it. In there? Mine's ripping That's apart. okay, you can mend it together. So you just leave it like this? Yes. Okay. okay. All right. Let's see you assemble one. Good, Lou. Putting it in the center. Good. Now add some chip. No one else is going to eat that one but her. Add some cheddar. Yeah. Cheddar cheese? I don't know cheese? how much to put. Is it cheddar cheese? Yes. Just that's it. Good. Go ahead. Three pieces is good. You can add a little bit more. There's no special measurements because this is as you like it. Why does it look like not even good? It is. It's delicious. You're not used to seeing it. It's yummy. Put a generous oh, amount make, in the middle. You're trying to make me try. That's it. And now you got to bring up the sides to make like a little pie. Why did you say it was yummy? Because it is. And then you make Harry Styles loves Branston pickle. Then you got to bring up the sides. That's it, Lou. Don't let anything squirt out. I see. Up oh, there's Jaylene. She's the pro. Nice. And then you could turn it seam side down onto the tray. Do you like mine, my Mara? Good job. <laughs> All right. Now and then we will zero in on them before we put them in the oven. I'm only going. Harry to Styles, you should be here. You would be loving this. Hey, girls, get it together. All right. This is what it looks like. I'm going to zero in on the girls' masterpieces. Oh, oh. Oop, that's okay. <laughs> Whatever you order, Look like at that. the girls' masterpieces. Oh, my goodness, Harry Styles. Come on, Harry Styles. You have to like it now. <laughs> Tell them how much you love them, Jaylene. Like, um, like, like um, this whole house. All right. Here they are. Branston inspired meat pies with corned beef and aged cheddar. They baked for approximately 15 minutes at 350. We're going to eat one and try it. Cut one open. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can hear that. The crust is flaky. The inside is gooey. I wish we had smell-o-vision. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Let's see. So we have like a buttery, flaky crust. A little bit of, now Branston pickle is spicy, but not real spicy. Salty, sweet, it's like a sweet sour and has all kinds of chopped up vegetable in this sticky brown sauce that is delicious. Hey, what are you doing? My wife is really good, come try. My seat. All right, mm. the cheese melted inside and it's gooey. And oh my God, it's so good. Oh my God, it's really, really good. I'm gonna try some. Okay, here you go, girls. Well, you can eat off my fork. It's opening up. Oh, <laughs> oh no. It's all right. Take it some. Now. Thank you, Jaylene, for joining us in the kitchen, and thank you, Harry, for inspiring this yummy recipe.